I'm 680 News Senior Business Editor Mike Apple. Another sign today of the slowing Canadian real estate market. It was some data that was released by the Bank of Canada pointing to the fact that in 2018, the mortgage account growth rates for the big Canadian banks slowed to the slowest growth in 17 years. Of course, at the start of 2018, the federal government was tightening the rules and restrictions on mortgage lending, making it tougher for people to get a loan to buy into the housing market, trying to cool off pricing and also burgeoning Canadian consumer debt loads. Now, maybe that uh, balance has been tipped the other way too much. There have been calls to start this year to have the feds loosen up a little bit on those mortgage rule restrictions. Vancouver's numbers in January showed a 40 percent slump in overall sales activity on a year-over-year -year basis. And later this week, we'll get numbers for the Toronto real estate market for January. Also expected to show signs of a slowdown. Meantime, some study results in from Remax, one of the country's biggest real estate firms, indicates that millennials and single Canadians are somewhat hesitant now to get into the real estate market, citing economic uncertainty and overall pricing. Even though single Canadians, according to Remax, don't have a lot of debt, they're still worried on taking on debt to buy into real estate, and at least in the near term. Earnings in from WestJet today look pretty good. The fourth quarter of 2018 for the Calgary-based airline showed growth in the number of passengers, the number of flights globally. The profit was down a little bit, comparably speaking, still to about $29 million overall. A good number, but hit by rising jet fuel costs. WestJet did, however, top the earnings estimates, and the stock today was up by about 4%. Apple has recaptured the top spot as the world's most valuable company on Wall Street. The share price has seen a recuperation recently, and it's now worth overall $828 billion. And that has it leapfrogging the market value of Amazon and Microsoft. Of course, Apple is nowhere near worth what it was last October when it topped $1.1 trillion. It's a $200 million cryptocurrency conundrum. What happens when you lose the master key to the accounts on your funds? Well, this is what a Vancouver-based company is dealing with right now, Quadriga CX. It is in uh, court in Halifax in receivership following the recent sudden death of the company's founder who had all of the cryptocurrency accounts on his laptop and no one knows how to access those accounts. So there are 112,000 customers in limbo and almost $200 million in cryptocurrency funds. Quadriga CX lawyers are asking for more time to try to crack that code. And Canada's Sunrise Records is buying the historic HMV record brand in the UK. Sunrise, a couple of years back, bought HMV Canada. Its uh, owner, Douglas Putnam, sees a resurgence for vinyl and CDs. HMV in the UK was going into receivership, so this buyout saves about 100 stores and 1,400 jobs. From the 680 Newsroom, I'm Mike Apple for City News.